Hello friends, welcome to Nigeria Techies. This is our React.js Redux tutorial. So part of this video, I'm going to implement the store action and the reducer in our React.js application. And this is the part three video. So in my first two videos, mainly focused on the theory part. So this video onwards, I am mainly going to focus on the coding side. Okay. Now let me go to my application. It's already created. And here I have installed two packages. One is Redux and another one is React Redux. Okay. And the next thing is I'm going to create the component. So first let me create a folder component. So inside that using this stateless function component option we can create our component So here I'm going to provide the text as welcome to Nigeria Tech Keys. And in our app component, so we can remove this header section. So instead of that, we can call our component, okay? See, this is our text. And here I'm going to have one more text available product quantity okay it is having some value and for the action I am going to have one button see so we have done some changes in our component next let me move on to the redux side okay for the redux also I am going to create the separate folder And inside this Redux folder, I am going to have one more folder product. Okay. And here, first, I am going to create my action creator. Okay. So this is one of the JS file. The name is product action. So in the definition says uh, the action is nothing but an object. So here I am going to create the action creator. The action creator is one of the function. Okay. So let me create this one. Our action name is uh, make order. And it is returning the object. Okay. And the object having the value is type. I mean the key. The value is make order. So instead of hard coding this one, we can have one more JS file action types. So here export constant this make or equal to we can have this value and then in our action creator file so let me import this one Okay, we have completed the action. Now let me move on the reducer. Okay, for the reducer also, let me create one new file, and the name is product reducer. So basically, uh, this reducer is one of the function. It is taking two inputs. One is the previous state value, and another one is the action. Okay, so let me create it. product reducer and as I mentioned to input one is state and another one is the action 
and as I mentioned the first value is the previous state so let me declare one object constant initial state it is the object number of products so the initial value should be 100 okay and also let me set the default value so here I am going to use the switch option so in this switch we can use this action type and in this case I am checking if it is make order I am going to return the object so the initial state and then number of products so I am going to take this initial state the state dot number of products minus one okay and in this default I'm just returning the state so finally I'm going to export this reducer then only we can use in our component okay now we are good to go and the final one is store so let me create one more JS file okay in this store I am going to import the Redux library and it is having the function is create store okay so see this create store function is duplicated then obviously you have the question then how to implement this one for recently we have one more uh, function that is called configure store it will be available in the package of redux js toolkit okay so i'm going to install this one before that i'm going to say one more thing so still if you want to use the lower version you can use the legacy option okay legacy create store first let me complete uh, using this legacy store so after that i'm going to install the toolkit okay the store equal to so legacy create store of so the input is reducer you can see so I'm going to use our product reducer okay it is imported so finally I'm going to export this one okay okay great now we have defined our store so basically this store is applicable for the whole application right so what I'm going to do let me go to our app component okay so here I am going to use one more function the function name is provider so basically it is available in the package of react reducer okay okay fine and then so let me include like this okay so we all know app component is our main component so inside that only all of our other components are rendering so globally I have included this provider and here we have one option is called store so in this store we can call our store function okay see once I am included it will be imported automatically okay great we have completed and as I mentioned so instead of using this deprecated version so in this browser let me check the npm link redux toolkit okay so let me take this command 
npm install at redux.js slash toolkit okay I am going to stop our application because any package installation we have to rerun our application okay the package gets installed now let me command this one so instead of this legacy create store I am going to import the create store okay So inside the toolkit configure store and we can use like this and it is having this reducer parameter here we can pass our product reducer okay okay this is done now let me go to my document so if you noted here so currently we have our application so let me mark this into green and the action so we have created the action creator and then reducer we have created the separate reducer and finally we have configured our redux store also now there are two things are uh, still bending the one is subscription and another one is the dispatch if there is any action so we have to trigger our action then it will go to the reducer finally it will be update our store and automatically using this subscription we are consuming the data in our application this is expected flow so let me run this application okay the same screen so near to this available product quantity I will show the initial value okay so once I am clicking this make order the state will be automatically changed that is the expected thing so I am going to cover this from shoulder in the next video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching